In this video, we will solve three problems in engineering economics under the topic present economic studies. Now for problem number one, a manufacturer has a contract to produce 5,000 units of a certain device. The device can be made by highly trained workmen working individually. The device can also be made by less skilled workmen working together if they are given specialized equipment and proper supervision. The highly trained workmen are paid 300 pesos per hour and each can produce one unit every two hours on the average. The specialized equipment can be placed in operation at, at an original cost of 600,000 pesos and it will be worthless at the time all the 5,000 units are manufactured. With this equipment, four men paid 225 pesos each per hour and a four man paid 375 pesos per hour can do the work. All the five men working together can finish one unit in 15 minutes. Letter A, determine the total cost for the highly trained alternative. And letter B, Determine the total cost for the less skilled workmen plus equipment alternative. So we will uh, have here, this is fixed. The manufacturer has a contract to produce 5,000 units. So so the contract is 5,000 units. We have here two alternatives. The first one is wherein they are to employ highly trained workmen and for the second alternative, the less skilled workmen plus equipment. So it's asking for the total cost for the highly trained alternative and the second one is the cost for the second alternative, the less skilled plus the equipment. And let's see which uh, among this, uh, which between these two alternative is more economical. So first one is the highly trained alternative. So for the highly trained alternative, it uh, how how many hours will they work because they are paid. 300 pesos per hour so we will need to know to know how many hours will they be working so time to manufacture so for the time to manufacture it says here that uh, each workman can produce uh, one unit in every two hours in the average so if they are capable of producing one unit in two hours so two hours for one unit we can cancel unit here with uh, the multiplying it with the required units which is the 5,000 so how many hours is this so cancel units so this is 10,000 hours. So now we know how many hours these highly trained men will work. Labor cost. So labor cost is now equal to labor cost for each. So it did not mention how many highly skilled, highly skilled workmen there. So meaning this is labor cost for each workman. So this is 300 pesos per hour and they're working 10,000 hours. If uh, we're going to employ only one workman, highly trained workman, how much is this? This is uh, 3 million pesos so 
300 million pesos for one workman workman okay so that is for the highly trained alternative how about for the less skilled so less skilled plus the equipment for the less skilled how many hours will they work so time to manufacture says there stays there the uh, working together so it's the all five men working together can finish one unit so in one unit they can finish it in 15 minutes so 15 minutes per unit and let's cancel minutes so one hour 60 minutes and we have here 5,000 required units so cancel unit cancel minute so how many hours that is 15 times 5,000 divided by 60 so 1,250 hours so 1,250 hours labor cost so we have here the labor cost now is equal to how much the payment says here the four men are paid 225 pesos each per hour and the four man is paid 375 pesos per hour so for the labor cost we have 1000 so 1250 hours and we have four laborer working 225 per hour plus the uh, 300 75 per hour four man so that is now equal to one two fifty times four times two two five is three seventy five so that is one million five hundred ninety three thousand seven hundred and fifty pesos for the labor cost plus we have the equipment so how much is the equipment cost the equipment here is 600,000 pesos and then it will be worthless once the 5,000 units are manufactured so the equipment is 600,000 600, pesos so what's now the direct cost direct cost or total cost now is one five nine three seven fifty plus six hundred thousand so two million one hundred ninety three two million one ninety three seven fifty pesos so this is for the alternative number two so which among these or which between these two alternative is uh, much economical so of course this one here the less skilled plus the equipment so this is our problem number one let's go to the problem number two The volume of the raw material required for a certain machine part is 2.02 .02 cu 
uh, cubic meter. The finished volume is 1.05 cubic meter. The time for machining each piece is 30 seconds for steel and 45 seconds for brass. The cost for steel is 60 pesos per kilograms and the value for steel scrap is 25 pesos per kilogram. The cost for the brass is 32 pesos and 50 centavos per kilogram and the value of brass scrap is negligible. The wage of the operator is 40 pesos per hour and the overhead cost of the machine is 50 pesos per hour. The weight of steel and brass are 0 0.0088 and 0 0.0081 kilogram per cubic meter respectively. Letter A, which material will you recommend? And letter B, how much is the savings when you use that material over the other material? So for letter B, we will uh, see the difference between the cost of the one material versus the other material. Okay, so which material will we recommend? Of course, we will solve the, uh, the total cost of each material and we will select the one with the lesser cost. Okay, so let's start with so the cost for steel. Okay, so let's start with steel. So first we need to determine that the required volume here is 1.05. So this is the required volume, but the uh, raw material needed is 2.02 cubic meter. Why is there a difference between the required volume and the raw material? That means when you go to the market or when you go and buy for the material, you will get it as a whole. And when you work on the project, that is the finished volume. That's why there is there is two different volumes presented in this problem so the first one is when you buy the raw material and the second volume here is the finished product so this is required volume is 1.05 cubic meter the uh, raw So the row volume is 2.02 cubic meter and that means the scrap here is so the scrap because there is a price or there is a price for the steel scrap we have here 25 pesos per kilogram so for the scrap that is equal to 2.02 minus 1.05 and that is equal to 2.02 minus 1.05 0 0.97 cubic meter okay. so Let's start with the steel. So for the time for so, so you see the time for machining each piece is 30 seconds for steel and 45 seconds for brass. So 30 seconds for steel for its time and then what do you need to learn here is the the weight so the weight of the steel so time to manufacture is 30 seconds and the weight the weight of the steel is 0 0.0088 kilogram per cubic meter okay, so let's 
go for the cost so the value for steel is 60 kilogram per yeah, 60 pesos per kilogram and the cost for brass the wage so we have here the wage is in the same okay so the wages are the same so let's put here the material cost so material cost here is equal to 60 pesos per kilogram so that is 60 pesos per kilogram and then we will cancel out kilogram using its weight so that will be 0 0.0088 kilogram per cubic meter now how do we cancel out the uh, cancelling out kilogram so how do we cancel out cubic meter it's by the are we going to use the required volume or the row volume so remember that this material cost is what we're going to buy in uh, in the store so that means it's the row volume we will multiply this with the row volume because it is something the volume that you're going to buy in the market So that is 60 times 0 0.0088 times 2.02. .02. So that is 1 point, let's use four decimal places, 1.0666. And that's for the material cost. Let's go to the wage. Now for the wage, it says there that is uh, 40 per hour. Wage of the operator is 40 per hour. So 40 pesos per hour. And then how many, uh, what's the time to manufacture the, uh, the machine using steel? It says there 30 seconds. So 30 seconds for machining each piece. So we will put here, cancel out first the hour. So one hour, let's cancel that. So in one hour, there is 3,600 seconds. And then seconds will be canceled out with 30 seconds. Cancel hour, cancel second. 40 times 30 divided by 36. So 0 0.3333. 0 0.3333. Next is the overhead cost of the machine is 50 pesos per hour. So overhead. Over head cost is 50 pesos per hour so 50 pesos per hour cancel hour that is one hour divided by 360 seconds and then we have 30 seconds cancel hour cancel second So, 0 0.4167. 0 0.4167. So, what's the total cost? 1.0666 plus 0.3333 plus 0.4167. So, that is 1 point. Oops. 
1.8166 now remember that using the uh, steel the value for steel scrap is 25 pesos per kilogram so that means income that's not a cost rather income so let's put here scrap so scrap is equal to uh, 25 pesos per kilogram then we will use the uh, weight 0 0.0088 kilogram per cubic meter and then cube, cubic meter is a we will put here the value for scrap that is 0.97 cubic meter, or the, uh, the quantity of scrap 0 0.97 so cancel kilogram, cancel cubic meter. How much is that? 0.088 times 0.97. So point so zero point ninety seven. Two one three four. Zero point two one three four. So total cost now. equal to 1.8166 minus 0.2134 so 1.8166 minus 0.2134 so 1.063 so 1.6032 so 1.6032 so this is for the steel. Let's go to the uh, second material that is the brass. So for the brass material, how many hours or how many time? 45 seconds for machining the brass. 45 seconds then the weight of the brass is 0.0081 kilogram per cubic meter 0.0081 kilogram per cubic meter so what's now the material cost for the material how much the cost of the brass material is 32 0.5 per kilogram and there is no scrap value no value for the scrap so just the material and that is 32.5 per kilogram cancel kilogram using the weight per cubic meter and then cancel cubic meter using the row volume which is 2.02 .02 cubic meter so how much cancel kilogram cancel cubic meter so how much Point five three one eight. Zero point five three one eight. Next, let's go to the wage of the operator. The wage of the operator is uh, 0 point, uh, 40 pesos per hour. So that's 40 per hour. One hour is 3,600 seconds. And how many seconds? It is 45 seconds. that is 40 times 45 divided by 3600 0 0.5 next the overhead so how much is the overhead same 50 per hour so one hour 
for 3600 seconds and then we will multiply it with 45 seconds cancel hour cancel seconds so this is now 50 times 45 3600 so that is 0 0.625 0 0.625 there is no scrap here so what's the total cost 0 0.51 531d plus 0.5 plus 0.625 so 1.6568 so that is the total so total cost Between the two, what's the total cost? So the lesser total cost here is the steel. So we will choose this alternative. We will recommend the steel material. Now, how about the total savings? So savings now is equal to 1.6568 minus one point six zero thirty two so one point six five six eight minus one point six zero thirty two that is zero point zero five three six zero point zero five three six so that's the savings okay so that's problem number two Now let's go to the problem number 3, the last problem in this video. So this is problem number 3. All to bid was advertised for the construction of a transmission line from a mini hydroelectric power plant to a substation which is 5.035 kilometers away. Tunnelized timber electric post must be placed at intervals of 50 meters. The electric post must be 10 meters long, 20 millimeters at the tip, and 30 millimeters at the butt. The powerhouse is 15 meters from the first electric post and the substation is 20 meters from the last electric post. Cost of one tunnelized timber post 10 meters long is 1,980 pesos each delivered to the site. Laborers are paid 300 pesos per day. Five laborers can dig and erect three posts each day. Electricians are paid 500 pesos per day. Four electricians can strain wires complete 150 meters per day. Electric wire costs 11.10 pesos per meter. Use only five laborers and four electricians for the project and a foreman at 700 pesos per day. Compute the direct cost and add 10% for contingencies. Letter A, how many posts are to be erected? And letter B, compute the total project cost. Okay, for visualization, so this is for the num for the letter A, we need to find the number of posts. So So there is a transmission line from a mini hydroelectric power plant 
to a substation. So, imagine this is our power plant. And then, it has to reach substations. There are electric posts placed at intervals of 50 meters. But this says here from the problem the electric post must be uh, 15 meters. So the powerhouse is 15 meters from the electric from the first electric post and the substation is 20 meters from the last electric post. So we can visualize that the first so this is our first electric post and then this is our last electric post and then they are 50 meters apart so let's break it here So the uh, mini hydroelectric power plant or substation is 5.035 kilometers away. So this is 5.035 kilometers wherein there is an interval of 50 meters here. But for the power plant, this is 15 meters, and for the substation, that is 20 meters. So how many electric poles are there? So we need to determine the distance now as... So this distance now here is... This, from the first post to the last post. So that is 5.035 minus 15 minus 20. That is equal to 5,000 meters. So number of posts now is now equal to so there is one post in every 50 meters and there is 5,000 meters uh, away and that is plus 1 so 5,000 divided by 50 plus 1 so there is there are 101 electric posts So why did we add one here? Because the 50 meters here indicates the space between the posts. It's not the number of posts, but rather it's the space in between. So if you divide here, for example, there are five posts here. One, two, three, four, five. If these are 50 meters, 50 meters in between so this is 200 so imagine there are five posts here 50 meters apart so for the total of 200 200 meters therefore if you determine the number of posts that is 200 divided by 50 so what is 200 divided by 50 that is 4 
So that is 4. And then you add 1 for the last post. For a total of 5 posts. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's actually 5 posts here. So the same logic is what we did here for the total number of posts here in our problem. So the total distance from the first post to the last post divided by the space in between them plus 1 for the last post and that's a total of 101 posts or electric posts. Let's go to letter B. Compute the total project cost. So for the uh, project cost, we need to determine first the number of days to erect them because we are paying the laborers here per day. So we need to determine the number of days. So for the laborers, they are to erect, says here, five laborers can dig and erect three posts each day. So, the uh, five laborers can dig uh, and erect three posts each day. So, number of days to, suppose, number of days to dig and erect. So, says there, in one day, they can dig and erect three posts. So, three posts is day. And to cancel the post there, we need 101, 101 posts. So, how many days? So, we will cancel out here post. So, that would be 101 divided by 3. Oops. So 33.67 33.67 days say 34 days so that's the number of days to pay the laborers now how about the electricians four electricians says here can string wires complete 150 meters per day so the four electricians that you're going to pay they can string wires complete 150 per day so we're talking about the wire here so what's the total distance of the wire from the power plant to the substation it's 5035 you're not going to use 5000 meters because that means the wire is just from here, from the first post to the last post. So, meaning, we will need to include the wire connected from the power plant to the first post and from the last post to the substation. And the total there is 5.035, or that is 5,035 meters. So, we're going to use, so for the number of days, two string wires, is equal to, so they can do it in one day, 150 meters, and the total uh, distance to cover is 5,035 meters so how many days will it take to cover the 5035 so 35.57 so 35 oh that is 33 sorry so 33.57 say 34 days so they are similar anyway just uh, happen to be similar so now let's compute for the cost so what are the cost mentioned in the problem the cost mentioned are cost of one post is 
1980 each. For the laborer, we have here 130, uh, 300 pesos per day. For the electricians, we have 500 pesos per day. And then the electric wire is 11.10 per meter. And we have the foreman. The foreman is 700 per day. So how many items we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five. Five items. So cost of post is equal to 1980 per post. And then how many posts are there? There are 101 posts. with this of course so that is total of 1980 times 101 so 199980 199980 next is the uh, laborers so for the laborers they are paid 300 pesos per day and you will need five laborers to dig and erect three posts. So 300 per day then how many days? 34 days how many laborers you need to five? five laborers Cancel the cancel post. So fifty one thousand pesos. So let's put here five men. So fifty one thousand pesos. Next, we have here the 500 pesos per day. We have the electrician, four electricians. So the electricians are paid 500 per day. How many days? Again, that is 34 days. And then we have four men so 500 times 34 times 4 68,000 pesos next next item we have the electric wire cost so cost of wire cost of wire is equal to 11.10 in every meters and how many what's the total that is 5035 meters so cancel meters here so we now have 11.1 times 5035 so 5588.5 55 8.5 next or the last item we have the foreman that is 700 pesos per day so for the foreman so 700 pesos per day for 34 days the foreman will supervise the work so 700 times 34, 23,800. So that will be 23,800. So what's now the total project cost? Ah no, uh, this is total direct cost. So we're just computing for the direct cost and we'll, then we will add that 10% contingencies.
23,800. So the total here, direct cost is 398,668.5. And total project cost. It's now equal to 398,668.5. Six six eight point five plus the point one of the direct cost. So total project cost now is equal to answer plus point one three nine eight six six eight point five. So four hundred thirty eight. Four hundred thirty-eight thousand five hundred thirty-five point thirty-five pesos. So that's the total project cost. So that's our problem number three. So that's all for this uh, video.